Zambuda Reserve is home to the majority of large African mammals. There are elephants, rhinoceroses, hippopotami, large felines such as the lion and leopard, and an extremely large number of herbivores. But the reserve also houses a large number of lesser species which take advantage of the resources of an environment that remains sterile for the greater part of the year during the dry season. Termite nests are usually meeting places for many of these small animals. Beneath this earthy structure, thousands of small termites hide away, transforming them into natural food stores awaiting someone able to open them. Mongooses take double advantage of the termite nests. Not only do they feed off the termites, but they also use the cavities of the large termite nests as dwellings. There are five different species of mongoose in Zambudo. The striped ones, like these, living in groups of 12 to 50 in number, frequently colonize the termite nests. But the species most frequently living inside the termite nests is the dwarf mongoose, the smallest of the five species. Measuring barely 30 centimeters and weighing a maximum of 750 grams, the dwarf mongoose seems born to take advantage of the termite nests. Once a hole has been made in the structure, the termites are exposed to other animals that cannot break the walls of the termite nests by themselves. The reserve has hundreds of different species of birds, the majority of which include termites in their diet. With the arrival of the rains, thousands of winged termites leave their nests to found new colonies. This is the long-awaited moment for the park's birds, which congregate around the little earth mounds and feast on the termites. But before the feast, a certain amount of effort is required. In order to swallow the long-winged termites, many of these small birds, particularly those feeding on nectar, which have a beak shaped for extracting nectar from flowers, have to remove their wings first, a process that is not always easy. The waters of Ewaso Nigiro flow even in the dry season except in years of prolonged drought, such as in 1986 and 1987. The river's course enables large Nile crocodiles to live here, which are to be seen sunning themselves on its banks.
These crocodiles can reach lengths of up to five meters. In Zambura, they live in conjunction with the Avazo, which they never leave at any time, being dependent on its waters and fish, which form the main part of their diet. The Nile crocodile is the one most commonly found on the African continent, although curiously and regrettably, it precisely comes from a large part of the Nile where they have almost completely disappeared. When it comes to reproduction time, the females search for sandy banks close to the water where they dig a nest with their hind legs. Young females lay from 16 to 20 eggs, whereas mature females may lay as many as 80 in a process that takes almost an hour. Although the females protect the nests during the incubation process, approximately 50% of the eggs will be devoured by monitor lizards and other predators. However, in general, at least half of the batch will succeed in developing and hatching unharmed from their shells. Before breaking the egg, the small crocodiles emit continuous suffocated whales, which warn the mother of their imminent birth, who then digs them out carefully. Subsequently, once in the open air, they are transported to the water in their mother's mouth, during which they continue to emit cries, so that the young remaining in the nest know where their parent and their brothers and sisters are at each moment. The cries of the baby crocodiles inside the adult crocodile's mouth has given rise to the legend of crocodile tears, which accuses crocodiles of being hypocrites for attracting men with whales that sound like a child's cry and then trying to devour them. The cries, in fact, are emitted by the young which the mother transports in her mouth, and any curious onlooker approaching because of the call will be attacked by a female, freeing for the safety of her young. The female crocodiles are extremely dangerous at this stage because of the 84 to 90 day fast undergone during the incubation period. 